Hello everyone, uh, this is SwatWarsNimby here, back with another video. Today I have for you guys another Star Wars Republic uh, Gunnery Commando PvP episode. And in today's episode, we're going to be playing on the Yavin Ruins. So, uh, not gonna lie, this is one of those episodes where I make uh, some uh, few uh, mistakes. But uh, in the end, I feel like this is uh, one of those uh, videos where it's kind of a learning curve just to show what not to do in a war zone and uh, how to uh, counter some things that happen. But I still want to upload it as I feel like it is important to showcase uh, some matches like this as it is important to know kind of like they all aren't pretty and sometimes the uh, issues can arise but there is a uh, ways uh, to uh, persevere. So I hope you guys enjoy uh, this uh, Star Wars Republic uh, PvP uh, war zone. As always, if you guys enjoy these uh, things, then make sure to leave a like and subscribe, and let's jump right into this match. Alrighty, guys, uh, we are in a match uh, right now. So, as I mentioned in the intro, we are on the Yavin War Zone. So, so far, it looks like we have a tank. It looks like we have uh, some uh, juggernauts. So, this is going to be a pretty interesting match, uh, not gonna lie. We'll just have to see what happens. Hopefully it goes well. But uh, yeah, it looks like we also have a healer as well. So this is going to uh, be uh, pretty nice for us. So it looks like uh, they are focusing uh, someone in particular. Now, I'm not doing that currently. I am uh, going directly after this Juggernaut. Probably not the best uh, thing to be doing currently. But you know what? We're going to do it anyways because why not? So here we go. We're going to be attacking uh, this Juggernaut right here. I'm going to try to cap. I'm assuming that it's going to uh, be a fail. Yep, it looks like it's a fail. But in the end, if we do get the cap, then that is important. Now, let's see. Uh, what do we have? So, we have two people currently on this node. So, you know what? I'm going to go after that right there. Well, you know what? No one no one on my team is actually going to bother at helping mid. That is... Wow, that is some quality right there. I guess they don't want to defend as well. Honestly, can't blame them. Oh, let me just say stealth or mid... Just uh, as they uh, should realize, uh, because I can't cap. Uh, of course, I have full resolve, so I will be fine here. But they're going to attack me. And I'm going to have to deal with them. I mean, we still are attacking. And let me just say, two mid. We don't even have mid yet, because no one decided to help. Uh, oof, that does... Uh, sometimes it do be like that. But you know what? We are going to have to deal with it. We might actually lose this here. They did stunlock me uh, pretty uh, carefully, just in sync. So I will attack uh, this uh, Vanguard right here. He can't off heal, so I'm going to try to break through uh, the shield. And I'm also going to kite. You know what? So they are going to get one. I'm still attacking three mid. Just let them know, you know, hey. They might be going for the other node, but I guess I will try to delay right here. This is quite the meme, I won't even lie. But yeah, we're just pl trying to play Ring Around the Rosie right here. Just continuing to heal back up. Hopefully, just uh, knock this person down. Get around the corner real quick. Maybe not. Oof. Get a quick heal. Maybe I can get through it. No, I can't. Oh, well. Sometimes that does happen, but you know what? We can recover it. That is a little unfortunate that uh, my teammates uh, decided to go uh, away, as I couldn't really uh, deal with that too much. Because as you uh, guys uh, could see right there, the Stealther was uh, building up my resolve and uh, stunning me constantly. A very smart move. I mean, I do have to give it to them. They waited there until everyone was gone, and they waited to attack us. So you can't blame them. That was a very, very bold move on their part. So we're going to move on to what appears to be a healer. So you know what? We're going to stun them a bit. You know what? We're going to mess with them. We're also going to net them as well. So that will be useful so they can't use any of their abilities. So we're going to take some people out. Unfortunately, I didn't kill the healer in time. But looks like my teammates are going to do it for me. But we need to be careful here. We really have to take down uh, these enemies. As they are really uh, messing with us. So I'm going to capture right there. This time, you know what? I'm not going to try to deal with guard duty. I don't want it this time. As much as it is fun. You know what? I really uh, can't really uh, feel that life, honestly. And it didn't work out too well in my favor. So you know what? We aren't going to worry about it too much. We might have a stealther that decides to stay there. But let's see. Okay, so they got that one. I think we should hold what we have, honestly. I mean, if you ask me, I feel like that's the smart thing to do. But uh, I guess my team is kind of all over the place. But it's kind of an interesting scenario, since I think our team 
does have the DPS to succeed. The main thing that is important, oh, no one's calling this at all. Let me just say two relics. That is not good, oh man. Well, we still can succeed. The main thing to realize is we need to be careful here. We do have a healer. So you know what, I'm going to also net them so now they can't escape and they will take them out. All right, well, I guess they have that. I mean, it's one juggernaut, two v one. So I'm gonna head over here as I don't want to waste numbers as I am aware that they do have a healer over there and I definitely think they got the 2v1. So let's see what's currently happening. It looks like we have some people fighting mid. They will be able to take this Vanguard out. The main thing that we just need to be aware of is making sure that we do call out stuff if we don't think we can handle it. As that can end up very, very bad if we aren't focused. So gonna move quickly to the vanguard as he's bubbled try to take down the tank just like that and now all we have is uh, this uh, sork so they're gonna try to make a run for it can't blame them there so uh, just going to uh, use uh, some dps they're gonna be taken out and then we're going to look back at uh, relics as it's important to note that we shouldn't lose uh, this node because if we do lose it then we could be uh, in uh, trouble so let's see here, we got one operative, gonna take him out, and we do have a, a juggernaut still harassing the team, and the people left mid. Okay, well, you know what, this match seems to be kind of all out of whack, I mean, I'm kind of making some mistakes here, I won't lie, but this is kind of a meme, honestly, I mean, we're kind of going back and forth at just attacking people, as much as it is fun to play a deathmatch, I do want to win here, so I guess I'm going to turn on my A game as I want to win, and I imagine that these players do as well, but I feel like uh, just overall we haven't been uh, playing it too wise. I mean, for example, I really shouldn't be in mid right now. As much as it is fun to uh, have a death match, we do need to keep focus on what we currently have. So I don't know. It's kind of a weird situation because I just want to make sure that uh, we are safe and secure so these people have health. Looks like a people on Relic. Yeah, Relics is having some issues. Okay, so I would love to say in chat, I would love to attack these people, but you know what? We have to focus on what we have here. That is what's important. So let's see. There's still two Relics. It looks like it's good. It probably won't need a call out as we don't want people to overcommit. So uh, I'm going to move on to the Sentinel first as uh, they appear to be uh, someone who's pretty weak here. So a quick stun should do the trick. And it looks like uh, they should be fine. He's going to activate as many defensives as he uh, can. And uh, let's see. Uh, we have a, another node. It looks like they're safe. Okay, then. Well, we are in a good spot. I'm assuming that uh, the next uh, node... I'm assuming that they're going to attack jungle next. As uh, that seems to be uh, the wise option. At the very least, if I were on the opposite team, uh, that would be uh, what I would... Yep, looks like they're already on it. Because that makes sense. That's what I would personally go after. We have a stealth there. Oh, did I get him? Oh, he's trying to escape. No, you don't, my friend. I'm going to quickly get a nice uh, little uh, net. And now you're trapped. So this will work out. They can probably roll uh, pretty soon. So they will be able to escape. And like I said, as much as it is fun to uh, chase after people and uh, enjoy that, it's not wise to leave the node uh, completely unattended as that can end very badly. So this guy is going to waste his rotation on this teammate. And he's doing a good job. I mean, to be fair, he is completely just dishing out some good damage. So they're going to say one relics. So you know what? I'm going to head over there in a second as this guy seems to be taken care of. He will attack me, however, and will stop me from escaping. So just move away from him once more. And I'm going to head under now, and then I'm going to help out Relics. So this is looking very good for our team, not going to lie. We had a kind of rocky start, and that is my fault, but er, in my fault in some uh, cases. But it also seems like we had some issues with the team, and no one is guarding the node. Okay, well, you know what? We're going to keep having some uh, crazy stuff happening. I guess we're defending now. This is... Wow, this is crazy. I guess uh, we're just going to call out two relics as they are going to uh, bomb rush us. Oh, man. 
This is a fun, honestly, this is a pretty fun match. I mean, it's kind of out of whack, but you know what? Sometimes you have to deal with matches like that, and it can be fun in some cases. I mean, I'm having a good time, and it appears that we are successfully winning, but in the long run, we do need to be careful from now on, as this could end up costing us later, or at least in a different match, because we could be countered fairly easily, honestly. I mean, the enemy team could catch us off guard, and we are pretty lucky that they haven't, but at the same time, I mean, it is working out in our favor, and it looks like we will most likely succeed and get the win. So uh, moving on to this guy right here, we're going to quickly uh, switch uh, back uh, to uh, the uh, Sork. I will try to interrupt them uh, fairly soon. And also it looks like we're going to get the triple cap to uh, top it all off. Uh, you know what? I am not complaining. We had some issues, but it looks like we will be fine. And uh, yeah, it looks like that's going to be the win. And that's going to be it uh, for this uh, Star Wars Republic PvP episode. So we'll just wait for this to stop. And like I said, that's going to be it. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, then make sure to leave a like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one.